Hi guys, it's Chris here. Today I'm making a video on how to reinforce the uh, tail boom on the Blade MCPX brushless bind and fly model. Uh, this is not of course the uh, V2 with a brushless conversion kit, but the actual model itself that recently came out from Horizon Hobby. Alright, so let's start with uh, gathering our tools and supplies to get this done. Uh, first we're going to need some thin CA glue and some tape, small amount of that. Uh, we're also going to use, uh, in this case, uh, some cotton swabs to um, sop up any excess glue uh, during this uh, mod. Uh, we're also going to need some uh, quarter inch wide heat shrink tubing, a cigarette lighter to shrink it up or some heat gun or an appropriate uh, heat source and a hobby knife. We also need a, a ruler to measure things out. Alright, let's start this up. Here I've got the model with the main blades off and uh, canopy removed. Want to uh, start and disassemble. And we'll take off the servo link on the right hand side of the model. Pop that baby right off. Set it aside. Here you want to look at the polarity of how the tail motor wires are plugged into the main board. Uh, in this case I have it set, uh, such as this. This particular replacement boom was uh, had a weird marking on it and the green paint marks don't line up on the plugs. Uh, some people might find that, some people not, might not. So let's just unplug that baby. And take it off. Remove it. I used some rubber cement uh, shoe goo to uh, secure the uh, pin to the plug on the connected board. We'll reapply some of that stuff later. So carefully wiggle out the tail boom. I'll set the main frame aside. Now what we want to do is take gentle care and not touch your finger nails to these magnet wires here. Uh, there's a very thin amount of epoxy on this. Carefully straighten the wire out. We're going to need to use uh, keep this straight so we can slide the heat shrink tubing over there. It doesn't have to be dead sh solid straight like an arrow, but straight enough to put it on. Unfortunately, I don't have any spare uh, tail boom mounts to uh, perform this mod on a video for this video, but I'll go through the uh, motions and you'll get the gist of things. All right, easy enough. Grab our heat shrink tubing, and I prefer to, you know, just to save a little bit of weight. Uh, cover about one third of the length of the entire boom. So in this case, uh, approximately uh, in one and three eighths inch length would need to be cut. So one and three eighths. Cut a portion of the heat shrink tubing to the one and three eighths. Take it and carefully slide the plug through the jacket. A little twisting motion sometimes helps. Very easy. And leave it right there. Now we're going to use the tape to tack it on temporarily before we heat shrink it on. Uh, to keep uh, the wires from pinching, I didn't want to have the heat shrink so close to the uh, plug socket on the mainframe. So I measured it about half an inch away and then tacked it on temporarily. Next, using a, a, a heat gun or an appropriate heat source. Uh, begin to shrink the heat shrink tubing. Uh, if you want to be nice and neat about it, uh, like I do, you can start from the center, 
and, and slowly rotate it and then work outside to the edges. Okay. Once that's finished, we're going to pop out our CA glue, thin, runny stuff. And we're going to seal up some points of interest on the bone. We're going to start by adding some CA glue, just a very small drop, to the very end of this. Bring it down. And get some right on the flat key. I don't know if my phone can zoom in good enough for that. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. All right, that's the best it's going to get. Apply some CA thin glue to that flat key. And any excess that wells up on it, you want to just use your cotton swab to sop it up. I'd advise not to use any zip kicker or any accelerator to, to dry the glue. It, you don't want that frosty, crystallized look to it. It's very rough, um, and it might hamper uh, the, the reinstallation of, of the boom. Uh, if that's the case, you can sand it down and then reapply it. After that's dried, the next thing we want to do is seal the two ends of the heat shrink tubing that's now shrunk down onto the boom and reinforce it there. So, tilt the boom down just a little bit and add a small little drop and then rotate it around. And if you do catch any excess, get it there. And then tilt it back and the wicking action of the glue will suck up inside in between the carbon fiber boom and the heat shrink tube. Do this on both sides. And you can rotate it. I overlap the glue about a quarter inch on each side just for a nice uh, surety of uh, stiffness on it and let this dry again uh, I highly recommend not to use any Z kicker or uh, any accelerant on this uh, it'll be a nice nice clean uh, reinforcement mod for this so after this is dried we're gonna reverse the steps to uh, plug this uh, back into the main frame and get flying again so what we want to do uh, after it's dried, using your finger, fold the three magnet wires up on the tail. And grasping the mainframe by the rear servos and circuit board here, we're going to carefully slide that back in. Until it seats properly, you want to check the rear alignment. Make sure it's nice and square against the mainframe. And then we're going to dress up the magnet wires and plug it back into the main board. Uh, the reason why I don't have any more uh, tail boom replacements is because I looped the wire incorrectly around the canopy mounting post here. I was mounting it, uh, dressing it up having the wire loop where they intersect or cross on the top and what happens during crashes the tail boom becomes fine sometimes it unplugs and lifts up and the main blades will just rip the wires right off and I broke the wires uh, in, in that situation so what we want to do is we want to start the loop on the bottom dress the wire loop it under the bottom so that the, the wires intersect or cross underneath the canopy mounting posts. Once that's done, bring it nice and over, and we want to push it up in towards the motor a little bit. And another important note is not to have any of the magnet wires touch anything conductive. We don't want that to happen. Uh, it could uh, cause some interference or straight up short. All right, noting the polarity from last time, we want to plug this back in. In this case, I'm going to have to use a pair of tweezers for that. And voila! Uh, 
I also use, like to use a wooden toothpick uh, to uh, move the wires around just a little bit so for some final finite touches and whatnot uh, to uh, prevent them from cr scratching that really thin epoxy that's uh, coated on the wires. Well, anyways, once this is plugged in, before adding uh, shoe goo or Elmer's glue to uh, you know, keep the wire secure, uh, you may want to give it a, a, a quick test to make sure the tail motor is running in its proper direction. And uh, well, that's about it. And uh, I'll be uh, posting a, another mod on how to uh, add a heat sink to the main motor FET uh, whenever I get that part. So, hey, thanks for watching and happy flying.